Hey, good morning, Hope. I trust that you are keeping well. It's a beautiful morning. I hope you have good plans to step out and enjoy the sunshine. This is my wee garden, as you can tell. It needs a lot of TLC. It reminds me of the parable of the soul. When Jesus said, you know, uh, a soul went out to plant seeds and he found a different type of soil. First type was um, uh, on the pathway, uh, uh, cast the seeds, but within no time the birds were, were onto the seeds and were gone. You know, just speaking about how Satan will come and steal that which has been planted. And the seeds here, seeds of the gospel, really, gospel message. Speak, spoke about a different type of heart. The other one was one where there was a, a sort of a good soil, but uh, full of thorns and thistles, you know, around the plant. Something familiar to what you're seeing here, you know, with all these things that are potentially would rob life out of um, the plant. And they were much more uh, uh, aggressive than these little weeds here. And just speaking about the seed that falls upon the heart. And before you know it, uh, the issues and the worries of life that ch just choke the life out of the seed. And then he spoke about a third kind of soil, a different type of heart that is uh, receives the word of God with joy, receives the seed, uh, but it's rocky, so it's very shallow soil. And before, before, before long, the seed does not do well and it dies out because the roots don't go deeper. And they're speaking about uh, the type of um, heart that is uh, easily uh, drawn away from faith because of persecution or hardship and uh, finally he spoke about this uh, type of uh, soil that is really good uh, well aired nutritious and he would plant a seed and really yield something solid something really good bountiful harvest and i just wonder whether you know we can be able to draw out one or two things uh, when you think about what lockdown has meant truly we are coming out of it but maybe it was a time when we checked our hearts. And, you know, for those of us who maybe our hearts have been hardened by life and, and just no opening for the word of God, maybe it's time that, you know, you look at your heart and you feel, wow, I feel a lot more tender and a lot more uh, open to the things of God. Uh, may, may you sustain that. Uh, maybe you uh, are choked up by issues of life and you've managed to identify this and that brings worry to me. And I think it's time I, I let that uh, stay in the past. Or some of us who just realize that, you know, how come I receive God's word, but within no time, I'm quickly drawing back to that uh, space where I'm constantly uh, uh, going or drawing back to my former ways, you know. How about we come to God and say, God, the things you've achieved to make our hearts open, make my heart open, uh, would you sustain that? And that my heart will become that kind of soil that the seed of your word lands and it yields 30, uh, 50, 100 fold. May that be of encouragement. May that be of a challenge to you and I this morning. Have a good day.